Hi everyone, Laura Alexandra from Virginia Beach, Virginia, LA24 Studio. I am trying a little experiment today. I spray painted this canvas white before I started. I let it dry overnight and now I'm putting white paint on it. And I'm having to hold my camera so it's going to be a little tricky. But I just want to see because... I keep getting skips and having problems with the sides sticking. So I want to see if this would help. Uh, the paints I'm using today, I'm just going to try to do, because I love turquoise, the shades of turquoise and turquoise greens. And this is going to be a Dutch pour. So I'm going to start right here in the middle. And I'm also just going to make a little line out to the side. That was Nova Color Phalo Turquoise 135. I love my Nova paints. Um, I also have a Studio 71. And I'm going to just take the top off and pour this. This is really fun trying to do this with one hand. Sorry. This next week, I will get a camera stand and do this with more coordination. This is the, the crude start to my channel. Um, okay. So we're going to pour a little bit if it comes out. Seems a little dry. There we go. That looks almost too thick to me. And then we've got Liquitex, and this is the color here. It is called Bright Aqua Green. Aqua is my favorite color. I put teal in my hair. I'm 69 years old, and I don't care. They say they call old people blue hair, so I figure, hey, I might as well really be one. And this is a Nova color. And this is a translucent color, so it should be interesting to be in here. So we are going to try this out and just see what we get. I think I'm going to put a touch of white in the center, just to give it a little bit of that. I've already used my torch to pop bubbles. One day I caught my painting on fire. I'm telling you, you should have to have a license to do this. Now I'm going to flood it. I can't wait to see how this comes out. I think the hardest part of these is figuring out how thick you need your paint. I'm going to grab my blow dryer here. One of the things things that I don't do is I don't bend over and blow it because trust me I would end up with my boobs right in the painting so I use a straw and it just is safer for me I don't end up with everything in it And I'm just going to blow it out a little bit. As you can see, it's got nice color. I think it's hard also to figure out when to stop.
Now I turn my painting around. You have to be careful when you have the straw in your mouth to take it out so that you don't gather spit and then that drops down on your painting. I'm just telling it like it is because trust me, this can happen. See how I've got paint kind of gathering in that corner there? So, I can see my paint is flowing back some, so I'm not so sure that the paint, pre-painting it really helps. I'm gonna pull that, put a little bit more on there. Put a little bit more on this corner here. And then, I'm gonna move these paints back. I'm just getting my studio set up here at this house. Um, I just moved a couple months ago and it was a hard move. I bought a house that needs a lot of updating. So as that happens, I'll show you all what I'm up to. In real life, I'm a stager. I've got a staging company. Everybody's always like, oh, that's so cool. Okay, let's go ahead and torch this bad boy, see what we get. Oh, that's some nice cells popping up. I only like a certain amount of cells. This is pretty. Very soft. And guess what I'm losing? I need to put some gas in my torch. Of course I do, because I'm doing a live video. As you can see, I'm not neat. I make a mess when I paint, and that's okay. So this can be turned several ways. I see that, you know, I've got some spots on the side here that I don't really think the spray painting helped it. I just think it won't look as naked if it does end up with a bare spot. Um, I did a lot of pour painting about a year ago, and then for my business, people changed their color schemes, so I had to start painting furniture. So last winter, it was all about painting furniture and changing my look. Now I'm so excited to see this Dutch pour. Thank you. I'm not sure how to say her name. Rinsky, Duna, Rinsky, Rinsky, Duna. Anyway, the lady from the Netherlands. So I'm going to finish this off. I'll show it. It'll be in my Etsy shop. Um, but I also want you to stay tuned. I'm going to do, I want to show you my big one I did the other day. It's just drawing. This was my first 16 by 16. And I think it came out pretty good. I do think I need more paint when I'm doing this size. I'll give you a close up. So there was some cell action, and but I feel like I probably We'll do it differently. But that's my first one. Kind of proud of that. And then... I want to show you this colorful one I did. I ended up painting the sides blue on this. And I like the way it kind of makes it stand out. Makes the painting... Let me see if I can get a good side view. Yeah. It almost looks like it's encased. Um... Show you my one I did yesterday. This one's still drying. It's absolutely gorgeous. And of course the lighting in here stinks. My exposure here is a northern exposure. Not to be confused with the show. So that's it for today from Virginia Beach. Have a great day. And we'll be talking art 
soon. Please sign up, subscribe to my channel. I'll be having some very interesting things and you'll be able to meet my little doggie. Bo, come here. Come here, Bo. This is my poodle. I had to shave his tail, so I call it a rat's tail. Come here, baby. Oh, he's such a good boy. This is my year old dog, and he is just a precious pup. And he is funny. Yes, he's gonna stretch out. He said, Mom, I'm waiting for my walk. That's the problem. Oh, yeah, that can't had your head come up, huh? Talk to y'all later. Bye.